Joyful welcome to the Alphonsian Advent Reflections Day 18. We think about Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5 today. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. The First World War ended with the declaration on the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. This year, 2018, 11th November, Sunday, marked the centennial commemoration of the Armistice Day. The ceremony was held at the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Dozens of leaders from around the globe marched in the soaking rain down on this day to mark this historical event. The commemoration was peacefully held. In the light of this historical declaration, I would like to stress the significance of time in the salvation history. The Word was made flesh in the fullness of time. It is called fullness on account of the fullness of grace. The Son of God communicated this grace to the humanity. It resulted in the redemption of the world. For the aspect of time we see God took the form of a human being in a particular time to show the historicity of the person of Jesus. So the word was made flesh in the fullness of time is very significant. Dear friends, it demands a relationship from our part with the God. Alphonsus Ligari uses two kinds of words to bring out this relationship with God. Conformity and uniformity. Conformity means joining our will to the will of God. But uniformity means making the will of God and our will into one single will. I'm reminded of a quote. Do ordinary for God, he will do the extraordinary. Do the natural for God, he will do the supernatural. Do the possible for God, he will do the impossible for you. In our daily lives, dear friends, we comment on various programs or videos or audio that are seen on the internet. People ask for comment. But as we are in Advent season, we need to have more of commitment. Commitment to a person that is Jesus Christ activity for today. Share your God experience with your friends and family. Question. How strong my commitment to Jesus in the modern world? Prayer. O most blessed Trinity, purify my will and make it uniformed with yours. Amen.